What's up, YouTube? Kimbo, back again with another video. Long overdue, I know. Um, I've been really busy lately. Uh, I actually just uh, applied for graduation about two, two and a half weeks ago, and also just got a new job. So, been really busy in the life aspect, but I've also uh, had the chance to acquire a couple new pickups and I just kind of wanted to talk about those with you today, uh, talk about how I've been styling those and just uh, kind of how I've been styling outfits in general for this summer. I don't know where you guys live, but in Ohio, uh, as of recent, it's been really, really hot. Um, I'm, I'm usually not someone that steps out every day in shorts. That's, uh, that's just usually not how I tend to dress. So as of recently, I've been wearing a lot of just like uh, pants with either a tank top or just like a simple vintage tee. That's kind of how my style has been going this summer. Um, one thing that I've been gravitating heavy towards is accessories like I've been trying to wear a watch every day uh, I've been wearing different necklaces um, sunglasses bags stuff of that nature but I'll get into more of the accessories in a few um, we can start getting into a couple of the pickups so the first pickup is a pair of denim from Autolinger and this is my first uh, purchase from Autolinger and I've been getting a crazy amount of wear out of these. These are just a dark like blue wash pair of denim. They have like yellow contrast stitching throughout and then uh, they have an all button fly and this long thick string wraps around and I don't know if you can see right here on camera, there's the buttonhole and it's like a, a pair of wrap denim. It has like another kind of like carpenter loop back here and it hangs down. Uh, auto linger tag down here and then auto linger tag on the inside. There was also a big rubberized auto linger patch right here but i ended up cutting it out because i thought they were more comfortable without it and also when you wear it a lot uh, it'll start to wear down over time and probably come out of the denim um, eventually regardless so i just decided to cut it out and speed up the process but i'll put some b-roll pictures about how i've been styling these i've Honestly, I've been wearing them with a lot of just basic tank tops like these. This is just a tank top that I picked up in a pack from Target, like four for 20. So yeah, very happy with these, the Auto Linger Wrap Denim. The next pickup is another pair of pants. You'll see that there's gonna be a common trend of a lot of pants in the video. Like I said, even in the summertime, I tend to gravitate towards pants. Um, I try to keep it like as cool as possible up top. And then it usually doesn't bother me too much on the bottom unless it's like high nineties or something. And then I just bite the bullet and usually wear my few pair of shorts. But, uh, this is a pair of 5.0 technical trousers from Post Archive Faction. Uh, this is also my first piece from PAF, and I've also been getting a really good amount of wear out of these. Um, I had been interested in PAF for a while, but I'd never really pulled the trigger on buying a piece because I was always worried that the inseam wouldn't really fit me on a pair of trousers, but I think that these work great um, with a pair of boots. I probably wouldn't wear them with sneakers or anything like that, but with a pair of boots, I think that these work great. And I have a bunch of B-roll pictures that I'll probably throw up uh, wearing these, but 
been getting a ton of wear out of these two, kind of the same thing as the Autolinger denim. As of right now, I've just been wearing like a tank top, um, trying to accessorize, wearing different bags, different sunglasses, and then uh, maybe a vintage tee, uh, a bunch of different vintage tees in rotation. So these, uh, I don't know if the camera is necessarily gonna pick it up, but I'll try to do another B-roll video of some up close detailing because the seams on these are crazy. And then they have like darting going in almost in like an X at, um, at the knees. So it gives these pants like a really, really cool fit. And I really also like the materials there. <laughs> They're extremely waterproof, and I just think they go with a lot of the things that I've been wearing lately. So, post archive faction, uh, 5.0 technical trousers. So these I've already showcased before on the channel, but I've just been getting an insane amount of wear out of these still, so I thought I would just show these again. Uh, these are the Kiko Kostadinov Velakas trousers. I, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right. And just an insane amount of detail on these. Um, I have a bunch of B-roll that I'll throw up. These probably honestly need lint rolled. I just wore them like the other day. And yeah, I uh, kind of the same thing. Um, been wearing these with like tank tops a lot, a lot of silver jewelry. I like wearing these, especially with my dark boots because the metal heel on the back just peeks out perfect from the back of this like uh, thick like fabric on the bottom of these trousers. So I've been getting a crazy amount of wear out of these. The seams in the front also give it like a really good, uh, a really good fit. I think that it sits beautifully on probably two, three different pair of boots that I have. So just these, uh, a pair of boots and a tank top, and it's usually a quick, easy fit for me. So Kiko Kostadinov cargo trousers. another thing um i thought i would uh show a few of the t-shirts i've been wearing so if it's like a cooler day uh and this is what i was saying about like a lot of the tank tops and vintage when it's like really hot out i don't want to wear uh something like this every single day because i don't want to just demolish it with sweat uh this is a raf simmons autumn winter 2002 t-shirt and it's like one of my favorite t-shirts, uh, definitely get some good wear out of it, but I don't want to like beat it to the ground. So if it's like, a, like I said, like a high 80 degree, low 90 degree day, I'll go more towards a vintage t-shirt, which still adds a lot to the outfit. I think that uh, personally, I've been going with like a lot of uh, like, slow I don't know like slogan tees like this and then like funny uh funny like cartoon graphics uh that's kind of like the t-shirts I've been leaning towards I have a couple of them over here I'll show you this one says hard work never hurt anyone but I'm still not gonna risk it and it's in this really like washed out brown colorway with some yellow uh lettering I think this is a nice one and then the next one right here is like one of those vintage kind of cartoon style t-shirts I was talking about. This one's on a vintage Toltex blank and it just has like two mosquitoes <laughs> with the saying underneath. I think this one's great. Um, I, I would always suggest like hitting your thrifts, hitting the bins, scouring eBay. What's up, PA? 
that's the cat back there. I guess he wants to chill in the video too. But just like scouring eBay, scouring vintage markets, trying to find good deals on teas. I, I'm i honestly probably hoarding vintage teas at this point and I need to get rid of uh, a few of them. But uh, it always is good to just always have like white and black t-shirts to be able to just grab from uh, whenever you want to put an outfit together. Uh, here's the last one. <laughs> uh, this one. <laughs> This one's pretty crazy. Life's too short not to play bingo on this, like, I, I hadn't seen this blank before this, but it's like a really cool, like, fabric tag on the inside. Global Basics blank. I don't know, but crazy tee. It's, it actually has, like, a super soft feel, and I kind of go for these t-shirts with, like, this lighter weight feel uh, in the summertime because it's a little cooler. So yeah, those are some of the t-shirts I've been wearing lately. Um, I guess I could show a couple of the accessories. This is a necklace I've been wearing almost daily that my friend uh, Charles C2D is releasing soon. Uh, I'll put his Instagram down in my bio and everything, but it's a 100% stainless steel uh, chain and it has all these like balls and then it has a teardrop little pennant down here and it says, I can't stop crying. So this is, uh, this is gonna be merch for his new album, but it's actually like a super quality chain and I've been getting a lot of wear out of it. So I figured I'd include it in the video. Uh, he has t-shirts that are dropping too. I'll put uh, some b-roll of those as well, but I've been wearing the necklace almost every day. So, uh, cool necklace. Check it out. I'm not 100% sure of what the supply on the necklaces are going to look like, but um, I would still give it a look on Instagram. I know he has a website that is also going to be coming soon, so check that out. C2D at Created Soft on Instagram. And then another thing that I've been wearing a lot is this uh, just little $25 Casio calculator watch. I don't know how good the camera's picking it up, but this one's silver. Uh, I actually use it to punch numbers at work sometimes. So <laughs> sometimes useful. Um, it's pretty funny but it's just uh it's just a digital um digital like format on the front uh it also has like a timer on it and an alarm so stainless steel 100 percent waterproof gets the job done this is like my cheaper everyday watch i mean i still try to keep it in really good condition but it was a gift from my girlfriend's dad so this is the one that i've probably been wearing the most and then these sunglasses just a pair of vintage Balenciaga shades uh, I think these are a pair of women's shades if I'm not like mistaken but I found these at a vintage market been getting a lot of wear out of these too uh, figured I would include these these are probably the sunglasses I've been wearing the most lately so vintage Balenciaga. I just think it adds a lot to the outfit, like especially with something like I was saying earlier, like the Autolinger denim. I've just been wearing them with like a plain tank top. You could just put a bag with that, a couple accessories, and then like a nice pair of vintage sunglasses. And it just adds like a pop to the outfit, like a little bit of flair. So that's, uh, that's one thing I've been doing to spice it up since I can't really layer as much as I'm accustomed to in like the fall winter months. Uh, in the summer, you can't really do that overheat. So um, I'll move on to a couple bags that I've been wearing a lot lately because I feel like when you switch up the bags, people almost think you're like stepping out in a completely different outfit and you can really reuse um, a lot of your pieces and just like, 
create entirely new outfits by switching out the bag, maybe switching out a couple accessories. So, and it doesn't even have to be a crazy expensive bag. This one, for example, uh, I thrifted the base for it at, um, at a Goodwill and it just has this clear um, face on the front. And then I glued down some old Yu-Gi-Oh cards on the inside to create the design of it. And then the back of it is just black and it's just like a little tote. Uh, it zips, zips down the, down the middle and then it has one pocket on the inside. So this was a cheap bag that I thrifted for, I think $2.99, maybe $3.99. And then I was just able to add old cards that I had laying around that uh, weren't really worth much to. And I get a lot of wear out of it. So this is one of the cheap alternatives that I've been wearing a lot. This bag also is a thrifted bag, uh, also from Goodwill. Um, this one, I have the strings tucked inside because my cats are menaces and they like to slap at strings and I don't want it to get damaged. So honestly, one of my favorite thrift finds ever from back home. It's just a one strap bag and it just has a bunch of playing cards all around it, red and black with like this really nice, like cream colored base. And then it has two drawstrings right here. So, that is bag number two that I have been wearing a lot. Um, the everyday bag that I usually just throw around and beat up is just this Rick Owens uh, tote. I got this with a pair of pants that I bought at the LA store and I just toss everything in here, throw it around. Uh, really easy to clean, it's, uh, really durable, goes with a lot of outfits. I like this brown color. It goes with a a lot of uh, a lot of the colors that I already wear so I find this one pretty easy to just grab and throw on but nothing too crazy to say just a Rick Allen's tote bag and then this bag right here is probably the one that I wear the most and this is my JPG leather studded Suno bag uh, I just think that this adds like a lot of character to an outfit that might just be a tank top and jeans without it. You know what I mean? So those are some of the more fun ways that I've been accessorizing since it's hot out. I would love in the comments to hear uh, what you guys have been accessorizing with uh, to combat the heat and keep your outfits interesting because I'm always open to trying new things in the summer. Uh, the summertime is always one of those things that everybody is always like super excited about and I've always had this mild depression about having to put all of my garments away for the season and convert to wearing gym shorts. So <laughs> I'm always open to hearing what everybody else is wearing and I would love to read through. Um, I wanted to talk about, before I end the video, a couple questions. I posted a poll on uh, my Instagram a few days ago. It didn't get the most responses, but it did get a couple good questions that I thought I could at least address for the channel. And then maybe if you guys wanna throw a couple comments down or I could throw up another poll in the future, I could try to um, do another more interactive thing on the channel and just uh, answer some questions, maybe give out my perspective on a couple of things that you guys are wondering. So the first question was, um, how did I think TikTok has like influenced uh, the state of like trends and fashion culture as a whole? And I thought that that was a really good question that I kind of provided a layer of answers to in my initial response. And I had said that I thought that TikTok like was good in the sense that it gave a lot of creative people a platform to be able to express themselves, uh, showcase their garments, showcase their designs, uh, showcase their work, their portfolios, uh, so on and so forth. But I do think that TikTok is kind of like littered with hate comments that often kind of drive people away from dressing how they want to or expressing themselves how they want to. 
And another thing about TikTok is I feel like it drives people to dress in a way that gets a lot of likes and a lot of interaction versus dressing how maybe you just want to dress as an individual. So I think that that's something to think about. Um, I personally have actually deleted my TikTok within like the past couple months. I haven't reactivated it yet. Um, I've thought about it, I don't know. Obviously it's like good to advertise uh, like for the channel, for stuff like that on TikTok. And I do understand um, being present on TikTok, but I do think that it accelerates um, the trend cycle for sure because it gets more eyes on trends quicker and pushes a lot of negative things. I see a lot of, well, see i saw since i deleted it um a lot of fast fashion ads on tiktok a lot of fast fashion styling on tiktok uh just things of that nature so i think that it's just important to be conscious while you're on there and just try to um just try to remain like strong and have like a grasp on your individuality and not a hundred percent follow the trends that are really easy to get clicks and likes on so i guess that's my two cents on that one uh question number two um <laughs> rick or raf if i had to decide life or death situation <laughs> raf and i know that might be crazy i wear rick a lot more but i think if I could, I would probably wear older raft garments more than Rick if the funds were available. So short answer, Raph, but I love you to death, Rick. So yeah. And then last question was about the subway girl that I guess has been all over TikTok. I've seen her a couple times on Twitter. I don't know if she's like more prevalent on TikTok, but she seems interesting for sure she gives me like vetmont like demna vibes like balenciaga um not my style i guess i don't know i i guess i showcased a pair of older balenciaga shades i i just i tend to find that stuff harder to integrate into my wardrobe which like, yeah, at times it's like really fun to do that and like push your boundary and uh, and like style an outfit that maybe you wouldn't be comfortable wearing 100% of the time. But like on a day-to-day -day basis, I just don't find myself like gravitating towards that Balenciaga like Vetmont type styling. Um, that's just me personally. Like I know that that's like a really popular uh, type of style right now. And I, I think a lot of people do it really well. Uh, the runway shows, I've watched a couple of them have been really, really solid. And uh, I think some of the models and some of the creators that I've seen posting on like Instagram have put together some crazy fits. So uh, just because something's not your style doesn't mean it's not necessarily bad. Like I said about the TikTok comment, no need to hate on it, but um, yeah, I'm glad that I got to come back and showcase a couple garments for you guys. And uh, I'm definitely gonna throw some B-roll in of some of the outfits that I've been wearing, with some of the pieces that I've showcased. Uh, I'm gonna try to get on a more consistent basis. Like I said, I applied for graduation, so school is steadily winding down, uh, dwindling to nothing, in fact. So I'm hoping to have a little bit more time, just get on that 40 hour work schedule um still chasing something in fashion and just trying to find my lane but i want to at least uh involve you guys in the journey so i appreciate you guys for tuning in and sticking with me on the way uh drop a comment like i said if you have any questions that you would like addressed in the next video throw that down below i'll put my instagram uh and also my friend's Instagram for the necklaces if anybody's interested. Everybody have a good day, bye.